Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Samsung released One UI 7 Beta 3 and the update is much bigger than what I thought. So let me show you what's new. Before starting, if you like any of the wallpapers I use in this video or any of my other videos, you will find them in the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app. You will find the Google Play Store download link in the description. And now let me show you what's new. Let's start with the lock screen and the most notable change is the new unlock sound effect. So let's take a listen. The lock screen animation also got updated. You will notice here when I go to the lock screen, the wallpaper animates using this new zoom out effect, which wasn't the case before. When it comes to the lock screen customization, here you will find a lot of new changes, starting with the widgets. When you tap on this area, the card showing at the bottom is initially smaller, but when you start scrolling, it will push the lock screen further up to give you more vertical space to see all the widgets. Samsung also added a lot of new categories for the lock screen, starting with the calendar. Here you have six new widgets. Then we have the clock, two new widgets, then expert draw, then we have the reminder app, Samsung Health, Samsung News, and finally the voice recorder. I also noticed the widgets got reordered under some categories. The first one is digital well-being. Those two swapped places. Then we have the interpreter mode. They also reordered differently. And finally, the weather category. The lock screen shortcut speaker also got updated and now it's initially smaller when first triggered and I started to see more apps than before. Some of these examples are the expert draw and AR doodle. Not only this but the icons here match the One UI 7 home screen icons instead of using One UI 6 icons like before. The now bar settings page also got updated and now you will see the live notifications toggles right on the front screen. The music option got renamed to media player and the modes and routines got renamed to current mode. One last thing I want to show you is the new refresh button if the face unlock failed while having the keypad activated. So if it fails after a while, I see this new refresh button that will allow me to reuse the face unlock one more time. I'm not sure if this is something new to One UI 7 or not, so please let me know in the comments. So that's it when it comes to the lock screen. Now let's talk about the home screen. And the first change is under the home screen settings page. You will notice that these three options are now front and center instead of being buried under another menu item called app and widget style. You and the graphical representation at the top will adapt based on my choices, as you see here in this example. And when you try to change the apps screen grid, you will see that the options at the bottom are now four and five columns and instead of four by six and five by six like before. In the app drawer, there are a couple of new changes. The first one is related to the scroll bar. It's now thinner in beta three and Samsung also removed the secured by Knox label at the bottom right corner. One more thing I noticed in One UI 7 is the ability to tap and hold on any app and it will allow you to activate the pop-up view immediately or you can do the same to start a split screen by doing this and then choose the other app. Now let's talk about the new changes under the quick settings and notifications shade and the first thing you will notice here is the top row of toggles is now edge to edge with less margins on the sides to give more space between the items. The drop down arrow in the notifications is now bigger than before and when you expand to the full screen view you will see the same edge to edge experience to give more space between the items in comparison to the previous versions of One UI 7. The panel settings page also got updated and you will notice here when I tap on panel settings it immediately takes me to this page and instead of showing me a menu item called notification and the quick settings view like before, from here you will also see some new changes. First, the graphical representation at the top is different and when you choose the separate option, now you have the ability to swap the places between the notification shade and the quick settings. So you can put the quick settings on the left side instead of the right. So here, when you swipe down, you will notice that they now switched places. And also when you go to the panel settings and then choose the together option, you will notice here that the edit top quick settings is now a menu item instead of showing at the top of the screen like before, but it works exactly the same. Next, the widgets. And I found some new changes here. 
The first one is the smart suggestions category is no longer at the top, but you will find it in the normal position as per the alphabetical order. Not only this, but it got renamed from smart suggestions to suggest apps. Also, when you add the widget to your home screen and then go to the widget settings, we no longer have the ability to change the background shape. All you can do here is to turn it on or off. Samsung also added a new four by one size under multiple categories. So when you go to battery, you will see one over here then we have another one under weather one more under the secure wi-fi and finally under the suggest apps we have a new four by one size now let's talk about the new changes in galaxy ai and i found a couple of them when i select this paragraph for example and then tap on the ai button now i see this new table option tapping on it will try to put the information in a table view and let me show you how it looks you also get a transpose button if you want to swap the columns with rows. I also found this brand new animation right before showing the results on the screen. As you see, it shows this glowing animation that didn't exist before. The smart select feature also got three new changes. The first one is the new icon in the screenshot overlay menu. As you see, it looks different than before. The second change is the ability to draw on the screen, not just tapping on it like before. Plus we got two new options added in the overlay menu. The first one is called set as wallpaper, or you can also use the text recognition feature. Now let's end this video by talking about the new sound effects and animations. I already showed you one of them under the lock screen, but now let's talk about the charging. With One UI 7 Beta 3, now you will get a different color and sound for the animation based on the type of charger. So for example, if you plug a fast charger, you will get a different sound than using a super fast charger. So let me show you the difference. So let's go to the lock screen to activate the now bar. So this is the normal fast charger. It says here fast charging and it gives a green color. But when I plug the super fast one, it gives a different sound and a different color for the charging animation. And the same applies to the status bar if your phone is unlocked. So let me unlock it really quick and give it another go. So as you see at the top, it looks blue, but when I plug the normal fast charger, it shows a green color. And the last one is the new screenshot sound effect. So let's take a listen. As you heard, it sounds like a camera. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new features in One UI 7 Beta 3. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.